Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode. I know it's been a while, but we are officially back with another video. It's been a bad week. It's been my birthday, so I've been off two weeks. I still make content, so don't worry, but appreciate you guys for returning. I'm Culture Shock. Appreciate you guys. All Colts fans, front and center, let's talk about this week matchup. It's going to be a very important game for both teams, especially in the Indianapolis Colts. The Indianapolis Colts is heading a mile high. Mile high. The weather conditions, the feel, the atmosphere, the talent. Everything is on fire in Denver, Colorado for the Denver Broncos. And the Indianapolis Colts are heading into their coming off of a bye week, going into a game that they really need to win, which is super important, one of the most important games of the season, and one of the best teams that they've played all year as well. Going up against the Denver Broncos, this team is really, really looking good um, all year. Honestly, 8-5 and five going into this game. Uh, they just came off of a victory against the Cleveland Browns, where James Winston had that pressure, talking about those pick sixes. This Broncos team... They make plays when they need to. Both sides of the football are playing very well. They head coach very well. And the Indianapolis Colts are going into this game off of a victory. Uh, previously, the week before, they played the uh, – before the bye week, they played the New England Patriots. Anthony Richardson, when he had that running touchdown in the end of the game, the coach, uh, they put the trust in their young quarterback who has been benched previously in a uh, season with the whole Joe Flacco situation. He took two weeks off, came back, and he looks refreshed re-energized, focused, locked in, and just been playing some good football as of late. A lot of people might not think that, but if you watch the game, Anthony Richardson has been playing some good fall, good football, but he's going up against a very talented team on the defensive side. I think the pass defense is very solid. The, the, the pass rush as well is really good, but their defenders, their secondary is no jokes to mess with. Um, so Anthony Richardson has got a lot on his plate this week, as he do every other week, but this is a very important week. They put trust in him in the last few weeks. Uh, this is one of those weeks where he got to step up again and be one of those guys to push his team on the offensive side to go out there and play some good football. But the offense hasn't really been doing him any favors besides him uh, willing and dealing and doing what he has to do. The wide receiver has been having a lot of inconsistencies in catching the football. The offensive line has been banged up with injuries. Look like we're going to be getting a few guys back this week. So that's a bonus for the offensive line protection side, which is going to be very needed. Um, you know, they've been banged up. They've been swapping in and out these rookies. Um, the veterans have been banged up as well. Quentin Nelson hasn't been really having a great year like he's supposed to be having or usually be having for what we expect. So it's been an up and down situation for the offensive line. So the protection has been pretty poor on certain times, on certain sides, uh, pass pro wise, but run blocking has been pretty solid in my opinion. I think that's where you find most of the success. And Anthony Richardson has pretty much been doing what he could do with what he has. Um, Jonathan Taylor has had a very quiet season, but he's been battling an injury in and out. So we'll be up in the radars to see if he's going to actually play this week or not. Um, honestly, we don't know. But he has been dealing with an injury with retaping that ankle every now and then. So it's going to be interesting to see how this offense is going to go up in the mile high where the conditions are not like every other stadium or, or every other city. It's going to be really different. It's going to be hard to breathe up there. So it's going to be interesting to see how this team is going to be conditioned going into this game. Um, the offensive side, they have to go out there and produce. This defense is no slouch for the Denver Broncos. Of course, the numbers might say otherwise because of last week. But, I mean, you can't really – you can take that with a grain of salt because they had a gunslinger on the other side and James Winston who just left on the football. So it is what it is at the end of the day. But they pretty much shut down their run game. So the Broncos – their, their defense is still really good, despite what you might read or see from last week's performance. But their defense is pretty solid on both sides, uh, running and uh, passing the football. So the run defense is really good, though. I give them credit for that. But their pass game, the pass defense is no slouch as well. Um, but going into this week, like I said, the offense has got to find their identity quick, find it good, got to be polished, got to be very disciplined, and keep that. They got to play their tone, uh, that top type of style of football. Um, you know, Anthony Richardson, they got to play winning football. Um, you know, if he makes those quick adjustments, you got to put the, the team in his hands and on the offensive side, and you got to figure it out and pretty much get the team towards the towards the end zone. They got to put up some points. They got to put up some points quick, too. Um, you don't want the Broncos to get any type of momentum because they could just run away with the game and they could put up a lot of points on you on either side. So it's going to be interesting to see how this Colts offense is going to figure it out. Um, I'm expecting a big game, but hopefully it'll be from a guy like uh, maybe a Alec Pierce or if Mike Pippa Jr. plays. But Alec Pierce can have, definitely have himself one of those games against this team. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see if the explosive plays will work this week against the Denver Broncos secondary. It's going to be a huge test. So we're going to see how these guys play football against this Broncos defense. Um, 
coming in from the the week against the New England Patriots, scores 25 to 24 passing yards. It's only 100 yards, 144 rushing yards. They average four yards per play. So it's going to be interesting. Fifth on third down, there was five for 11, and they were 100% on fourth down. Like I said, they put a lot of trust in Anthony Richardson later on in the game, and he took the advantage and pretty much wheeled the deal down the field and got us in the end zone. So it's going to be interesting to see what the mentality and the mindset is going to be for the Colts going up against this Denver Broncos team, who is no slouch at all. So it's going to be very interesting to see how Shane Steichen and his offense goes into this week. One to the most important part um, is the defense. The defense, like I said, has been having a very solid year. That's pretty much been their bread and butter, in my opinion. The defensive side has been very consistent all year. Um, of course, they had some some games where they got pretty much exposed. But if you look over it in totality of which side probably played the best football, it's probably the defensive side. So we got to get their flowers. It's going to be a huge test. Uh, this team doesn't really let up a lot of explosive plays. And honestly, they don't let up a lot of points in the second half either. So if this defense comes out willing and dealing in the first half, we're probably going to be in for a long game because um, usually when they start off hot, they pretty much uh, end pretty slow and, you know, pretty much gas because they're on the field for so long. So it's going to be interesting to see how this defense plays against this Broncos team. Bo Nix has been playing uh, out of his mind this year. Um, definitely took a lot of people by surprise. Um, but, of course, in the preseason, I think I mentioned or tweeted something like, Bo Nix looks really ready to play quarterback. And a lot of people were like, oh, it's too early, things of that nature like that. But he's really well coached. He got a great coaching staff. Uh, he got a good head on his shoulders. And he's shown potential. Like, we've seen him in college. But, you know, transferring that into the NFL, what he's doing right now, is pretty freaking impressive. Um, and I think they're really ahead of the game of what their team is building and what they got going on for the future. So they're on the right track for sure. They got everything intact. Um, so hopefully they can just continue to build. It's pretty good to see Denver Broncos win the football, uh, have playing with the football, like of uh, uh, playing winning football again. You know, it's like I said, it's been a while since the Broncos has pretty much been noticed at all. So it's good to see them back to normal, actually playing some good football. So it's going to be interesting to see how they're going to play this game. I think this game should have been a primetime game, honestly. I really do. Like, this game has a lot on it. And, you know, even besides it just being the Colts, I think the Broncos is good enough to get another primetime slot. So they should have put this game on there. Um, so it's going to be very interesting, especially when you look at the stipulations for both teams, especially the Colts with their chance to win the playoffs and the Broncos' chance to win, keep winning. And they've been playing some good football for both sides, um, defense and offense. For me. So it's going to be interesting to see. But I think this game definitely should have got a primetime slate. Like I said, Bo Nixon's been playing out of his mind. The The defense is really good, but the offense definitely has a lot of explosive plays on that side for the Broncos, man. Run game or pass game, but the pass game, definitely you will see the ball get thrown in the air. So it's going to be interesting to see how Gus Bradley's going to come out against this high-powered offense, man. If he's going to send the pressure, it's going to be a lot of disguises. Are they going to make some plays? Are they going to commit some turnovers? Uh, like I said, Bo Nix is still really young, so if you put some pressure on him, he can't kill you on his feet. Um, you know, he's good. his pocket presence is pretty good, but like I said, if you put some pressure on him, I think the Colts might have the, a chance to actually make some noise, but if they don't do that, it's going to be a long game. Like I said, I'm not counting out the Broncos this week. I know my opinions uh, in the previous weeks, like I said, against the Lions was a little different, but this team's a little different. I think I, I put more fear in the Broncos than I do in the Lions, honestly. Like I said, there's no slug, no, no slug against the Lions. They've been playing some good football as well, but I think the Broncos are a pretty more a more tough opponent. So it's going to be interesting to see how this Broncos team is going to come out at home against the the uh, Indianapolis Colts. The Colts are pretty decent on the road, so I'm looking for some type of road kill celebration. I'm hoping the Colts can win this game. Is it going to be high scoring? I don't think so, but um, honestly, it could be on both sides of the football, but. The Colts are going to have to play very undisciplined football. There's a lot of times when they get penalized on both sides of the football, mostly offense. So it's going to be very interesting to see how they're going to be – if they're going to be polished from the bow week, are they going to be locked in, they're going to be ready. So this, Bronco, this Broncos team don't make a lot of mistakes. Um, they're very successful on third downs as well. And a lot of people know for Colts fans, third downs is one of those fears that you will have watching the Colts on both sides, offense or defense. On third down, it's not a huge success rate. So – if they can play polished, it's going to be a good game. But if not, like I said, it's going to be a long week for the Colts fans. So it's going to be interesting to see what team comes out with this win. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Who's going to win this game, the Denver Broncos or the Indianapolis Colts? If you're a Colts fan, feel free to let me know. If you're a Broncos fan, appreciate the support. Let me know as well. Like I said, there's no hate, no hate towards you guys. Um, it's going to be an interesting game, so we should see how that is moving forward. 
other than that, I am Culture Shot. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Watch the game. We'll be back next week to give you a reaction. Other than that, I will see you guys after the game. Peace.